Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back. Another episode of the TTM Show. And today, we got frozen pizza on the show. Got a new line of pizza out. And to be honest with you, this box kind of reminds me of the Screaming Sicilian pizzas that we've seen on the show. Boom, shakalaka. This is what we're looking at today. The Sasquatch Pizza Company. And uh, we're going to check out their triple pepperoni pizza. Uh, we know all about Sasquatch. Shout outs to Florida Skunk Ape. We got him around here. Probably chilling somewhere right now on the uh, edge of the Everglades. And yeah, they got the uh, Bigfoot cutout in the front. This one, the Wild Mike's that we saw not so long ago, that was a two pound frozen pizza. This time, these guys are scraping in at three pounds. Jeez. That was triple pepperoni pizza we're looking at today. The rough chopped pepperoni, diced pepperoni, and large sliced pepperoni. And that huge pizza with a big stomping crust. And this thing weighs a ton. On the back of the box, we've got Sasquatch Found. This is what I was talking about, where it's kind of like the uh, Screaming Sicilian box here, where this guy is a cutout. You can pop him out. And then they encourage you to, I guess, take pictures of him in various locations and post it up. I like him. Yeah. Sasquatch found eating huge pizza with big stomping crust. You found the impossible. Now sink your teeth into the biggest, tastiest pizza out there. Uh, this one's going to be going in the conventional oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 24 minutes until the crust is golden and cheese is melted, it says on the back. Oven's very... And we know some people with oven problems. Ovens uh, may vary. Please rely on appearance. So, yeah. Let's crack this open. And look at our product before it goes in the oven. Alright, I don't know why I expected this pizza to be in the shape of a giant foot. But, uh, it's a rectangle. It's like the box. So it did fill up the entire box. You see our large pepperonis rolling around inside of there. And I get a closer look here, I do see the roughly chopped ones and I do see the diced ones that you'd find on like a Dottino's pizza. So um, take a good look at that. Of course we're going to have to, uh, you know, move them around, make it look pretty. Alright, we've already got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to go shovel it in there. And what did they say? 24 minutes. We'll be back. We'll check on it. Alright, stick around. Alright guys, so we're back. We've got our Sasquatch triple pepperoni pizza out of the oven. Alright, so there's what you get out of the oven. Right there. Weird that there was like an odd number of uh, pepperonis on there. And so I opted to um, tear a couple of them up, the big pepperonis, tear them up and spread them over. Fill in some of the uh, empty spots that I saw, but overall not too shabby, we got a little crisping on the pepperonis, uh, the crust, it seems like very crunchy, very hard, just touching the edges there, the edge also did get a little torched, I'm not too worried about that though, the uh, center of the pie, looking pretty good, I would say that all the pepperonis, the diced, the sliced, the rough chopped, all of it, um, yeah, Looks like it's pretty well cooked and doing perfect. I guess you could chop this up any way you want. I chopped it up in a fashion that gave me like nine slices. I'm going to grab this corner slice right here and just give you a closer look right there. There you go. Finish. It still has a little bit of a bend to the middle, but yeah, the outside here, very, very hard, very crunchy. That just could be my fault. But yeah, look in there though. It looks like a. Uh, the middle of the dough already, I haven't even been into it, but just looking at that right there where the slice is, looks like it's going to be kind of mushy and doughy, you know, like a, a chew. Alright, here we go, let's check out the sauce and the cheese and whatnot. Oh, that's a nice pizza sauce. It's um, got a little bit of a sweetness to it, it's got a kick, it's got a little sting, a little spice. I like that. Real flavorful too. It's not just a straight tomato. You know, they properly got like an Italian seasoning going on with it. Definitely not a marinara sauce. Or just like your run, run of the mill uh, tomato sauce. So already the sauce is getting a plus. The crust itself, I do like that. 
It does have like a, a little bit of a crunch to it, but mostly it's soft and chewy. As far as the cheese is concerned, you can definitely tell that there's like a mix of cheese going on here. It's not just mozzarella. There seems to be a mix of like a white and orange cheese going on here. Say what kind of cheese? No, doesn't say. You really have to dig through the ingredients and I'm not about all that. Definitely though, after a couple bites though, yeah, it's a little spicy. It's got a kick to it. Um, it's probably in the sauce and definitely like one of these three types of pepperoni is probably very spicy. Could be the diced up stuff because this reminds me of the stuff that's on, like I said, the Totino's pizza where um, that's really spicy. So between the sauce and the pepperonis, I could definitely see this repeating on somebody later on. Alright, so I've knocked out almost a whole corner slice of this pizza. And like I gotta say, it's not so shabby. Uh, it sort of reminds me of the take and bake pizzas that you can get from like Walmart and from Costco. There's a lot of pepperoni on here, a decent amount of cheese, a lot of sauce, a lot of crust. I'm going to say, just looking at this, for the three pounds that this is, mm, two pounds of that is all dough. It's all the crust. And I'm going to say that the other pound is probably like cheese, sauce, and these pepperonis. Price point, this was ten bucks. So, the take and bake pizzas, they run about the same price, uh, upwards of like fourteen dollars sometimes for like the extra large ones. So at 10 bucks, this wasn't just like a take and bake that's refrigerated and fresh. This was frozen. So I'm thinking at the size of this and the fact that it was frozen, eh, it's not such a great deal on the 10 bucks. The overall product is pretty tasty. There is a decent amount here for like a small family or for one glutton. So overall, I think I can see myself buying this actually over, say, a DiGiorno pizza. Uh, I'm going to give this a solid 4 out of 5. Alright, so there you have the 3 pound Sasquatch Pizza Company's Triple Pepperoni Pizza. I'm Mr. Dirty, this is the GTM Show. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. As always, get out of here, go have a rotten day.